Latin American cuisine is as diverse as its peoples and cultures. The extraordinary culinary variety from Cuba to Chile makes it a continent of unimaginable flavors. Join us for the feast. Typical Cuban food is a fusion between Spanish and African customs, later adapted by the Antilles' largest island. Today we'll take a look at the secrets of these culinary traditions. No Cuban can resist typical food. Pork, congri, boiled vianda with mojo and vegetables are the ingredients of the most coveted dish in the island. At Don Cuenca, just as in many restaurants that opened this year in Cuba, anyone can enjoy this meal. I now have this business, aprovechando the that I have in the area, de abrir cada cual, ¿no? tener su negocio propio. Y es un sueño que yo tuve toda una vida, tener mi propio negocio. Y por eso fue que abrí la cafetería. Y ahí incluí la comida criolla, porque esa no puede faltar, yo pienso, en ningún lado que en Cuba. ¿no? Esa es la comida típica de cubano que a todos les gusta, principalmente el cerdo, que el cerdo es la comida del cubano. This delicious is originally from Africa, modified by the culinary customs of its country. For Don Cuenca's chef, special taste is achieved by combining native seasons, born out of the sun, the land, and Cuba's tropical weather. The secret of elaborating the cerdo grillé is the adobo de un día para otro, con naranja agria, comino, eh, ajo, cebolla, y ponerlo a reposar ahí hasta el otro día para que tenga su, su buen sabor cubano que es el, lo esencial de un día para otro el adobo. The taste of typical Cuban cuisine offers a party of smells and tastes for the palate. Pork in all its presentations is the Cuban favorite main dish. Es una verdadera que se te cocinado con carne de cerdo que es muy agradable además forma parte de Nuestras tradiciones, es un plato que se puede degustar con mucho agrado y es muy, es muy sabroso al paladar. For those who love fine cuisine, December is a special month. During these days, Cubans from the city and from the countryside prepare a culinary fest for their dinners. Even today, Cuban traditional platter is still one of the most genuine symbols of the Cuban ship. Rosario Ojeda, Telesur, La Habana. In Ecuador, traditional fare with local food is the ideal place to discover the country's culinary culture, if anything, for the amount and diversity of dishes. Christian Salas tells us more from the country's capital, Quito. Traditional food festivals around this time of the year take over the streets. Guinea pig is one of the most notorious typical dishes. Miss Elena has been preparing guinea pig for more than 40 years. In all this time, she has seen different kind of reactions from the clients. This rodent has a very high content of proteins and its origin is ancestral. Some historians say that it was the preferred dish of Atahualpa, the Incan king. Currently, it's enjoyed by both natives and foreigners. But the long line in this food festival are formed because of another Ecuadorian typical dish, the ornado. It consists in potato tortillas, beans, and the main ingredient is pork. It's a very important dish. Esto sí es algo que viene de años de otras generaciones, abuelos, padres, nosotros, mis hijos, ahora ya lo comen. Y yo creo que eso va a seguir siempre, eso no se va a perder. Es algo nuestro que difícilmente se lo perderá. The culinary essence of several regions in Ecuador is gathered in this food festival. They want to preserve our food inheritance and identity. Local foods dressed up with foreign dishes and added flavors makes up Chile's unique menu. For decades, households have been serving up a mixed gastronomy of meat and seafoods. Our correspondent Raul Martinez gives us a taste. 
the banks of the Mapocho River, which splits the valley of Santiago in two, history and typical news come together, born out of the mix, which also includes the flavors that arrive with European colonies. Fruits and drinks, like the mote con huesillos, are an intricate part of Chile's gastronomy. In the old neighborhood of La Chimba, on the north side of the Mapocho River, just like in previous centuries, low-income people go after low-cost meals. They are now joined by immigrants that taste the typical dishes of their host country. Otra comida, hacia el norte, por ejemplo, en Ovalle, otra comida, diferentes zonas por región. Y son buenas comidas también chilenas. However, we cannot talk about typical Chilean cuisine because its origins go hand in hand with the history of colonization, its independence, and the different migratory flows that have arrived in the country. Las cocinas locales en definitiva son eh, una mezcla, son una, un, 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 una, un arte, por así decirlo, ecléctico, que, que, que se forma con, con, con muchos factores de, de, de muchos lugares. Por tanto, hablar de cocina eh, es complejo. Cazuela, porotos con riendas, unitas and corn cakes are just some of the typical Chilean dishes that comprise a variety menu. The culinary offers is nowadays larger, with flavors coming from Peru, Ecuador and Colombia, and that also struggle to gain their place in the palate of the Chilean people. Raúl Martínez, Telesur, Chile. I think that's all that we can eat up for now. Come back next week for a new edition of our program on Telesur English. My name is Clayton Khan, and I bid you a farewell.